Every year, usually during our graduation ceremonies, UBC has the honor of bestowing honorary degrees upon individuals who, in the opinion of the university community, have fit the criteria of excellence and eminence in their chosen field. Al Hildebrandt exemplifies these characteristics, and it is our pleasure to grant him an honorary degree. Al Hildebrandt is a Kelowna-based technology entrepreneur with an extraordinary record of community and humanitarian service. He founded his first tech company in 1990, which served Canadian and international healthcare markets and was named three times to the 100 fastest growing companies list in Canada. He started a second company in 1997, which began QHR Technologies and again oversaw its growth into a Canadian medical records market leader. His numerous volunteer contributions to advance social and economic development are highlighted by his leadership of the U2000 movement to bring a university to Kelowna, as well as ongoing leadership and philanthropy in support of critically important regional and international initiatives. In particular, he has been a tireless worker and financial supporter of projects involving youth health, beginning in 1974 when he and his wife Irene began supporting World Vision child sponsorships. In 2016, they sponsored World Vision International projects, including projects in microfinance in Guatemala, healthcare facilities in Africa, sanitation facilities and water well projects in Africa, and child protection programs in Asia. Al and Irene supported Operation Smile, Canada's April 2016 medical missions trip to Nicaragua, where over 200 children were given life-changing pallet surgeries provided by healthcare providers from 17 countries. Since his retirement in June 2015, he has been involved in several local community projects led by Kelowna General Hospital Foundation, including Foundry Kelowna and Joanna's House. In 2017, following a personal family tragedy, he led the build-out of the Child Advocacy Center of Kelowna, and he continues his philanthropic work today through Impact Tomorrow Foundation. In recognition of his remarkable contributions to the social and economic development of his community and his record of humanitarian service in the developing world, we are pleased to confer the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa upon Alvin Neil Hildebrandt. It now gives me great pleasure to ask Dr. Hildebrandt to say a few words. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, and members of the UBC community, thank you. To the fellow honorees, I am so impressed with your accomplishments and I'm honored to be with you. To the 2021 UBC, UBCO graduating class, this is the year to launch the next phase of your life. You have completed this chapter of learning from UBC the number one university in Canada. Congratulations. When I became aware of this honorary degree, I wondered what personal advice could be shared with these talented graduates. Drawing from my six to nine years of life experiences, I call phase one as my learning years. Now my learning years was far less than yours. Phase two was my 45 years of working for a paycheck. My career started in banking, then as a policeman and later as a fireman. After moving my young family to Kelowna, I made a big U-turn and entered the tech sector in 1983, selling Wayne computers. In 1990, my wife and I started our first technology business, which grew to over $10 million in revenues by the year 2000, when we had 120 employees. We started our second tech venture in 1997, which went public as QHR Technologies in 2000. 1997 was the year 
my work life connected with the future UBCO. The Okanagan needed a real university, which could grant computer sciences degrees for the tech sector. This inspired me to get involved and to help make that dream a reality. We did not how it would be done, but as the lead spokesman for U2000 movement, we hope to align with one of the existing universities. March 17, 2004 was a very proud day for our group. Sitting right behind Premier Gordon Campbell, UBCO President Martha Piper, and UBC Chair of the Board, Brad Bennett, along with hundreds of supporters at the Delta Grand, all hearing the historic news of UBCO formation. UBC made significant investments in UBCO. UBCO has paid back great dividends as the community's most significant economic driver. Having a world-class university means our children can be raised, educated, and then work in the Valley. Today, the Okanagan tech sector generates over $1.6 billion of economic impact with over 12,000 employees. As mentioned, our second venture started in 1997, at the same time as the dream of the university in Kelowna started. After 18 years, I retired from my CEO duties and QHR was sold in 2016. Maybe had I attended UBC like you all, uh, my success might have happened faster and in a more organized way. But it is what it is. The truth of my tech work life is that between the two bookends of time, being 1983 my start and divesting in 2016, there were a lot of highs and there was also a lot of lows. The highs was growing the business across Canada and the many acquisitions. I know my company has hired more than 1,000 employees, many still working in this community. For us, as, far, as well as many people that lived through the hype of the dot-com bubble in the late 90s, what followed in 2001 was not a good year as the, the bubble burst for so many of us. We dusted ourselves off in 2001 and took QHR into a new direction, which was electronic medical records. What got me through those tough personal and business years was trusting in faith, family, and friends. My faith taught me, as it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. When things were tough, man, did I have to lean on that verse a lot as there was a far greater purpose to my life than just my work. My family is my rock, especially my wife, who is my trusted partner standing by me through thick and thin. Irene, in two more weeks, it'll be 47 years together. I could not have done it without you. Thank you for being on my side. We have three married children, all doing well in their own careers, and each of them have a boy and a girl. Besides being a proud dad of my three children, I am also papa to six grandchildren, including one who had just finished her first year of UBCO Health Sciences. Together, the 14 of us are close and we are so very blessed. My friends, over the years, I thank each of you for your support along the way. Now, how does my personal beliefs of faith, family, and friends overlap with what I see as my work phase, which is learning, earning, and giving back? Graduates, you have just completed a huge phase in your learning years by graduating today. Learning should be a lifelong process that enriches you. On my retirement in 2015, my giving back phase moved into a new level as it became my work and my passion. For Irene and me, we have been lifelong supporters of many great humanitarian causes around the world, such as World Vision and others. We have seen poverty with children and family hardship issues around the world as well as in our own community. Those children cannot wait for you to be successful or to retire. I hope you have used your giving back years and do not wait until that time period of retirement alone. Giving is not just about money. Volunteering is very rewarding and can help you along your path. There are over 2 million people that work in the not-for-profit sector in Canada, along with 4 million volunteers, each doing great for that sector. Who knows, maybe your career will be with one of those great not-for-profits and benefits from your creativity. Philanthropy is important to Irene and me. A rewarding moment for us has been the establishment of Impact Tomorrow Foundation. Our vision is to leverage the power of financial collaboration 
to break the cycle of childhood trauma and provide a more equitable future for all Canadians. My question to the graduates is, what can you do to make an impact on tomorrow's issues? My challenge to all is become a global citizen of impact today and don't wait until you retire. The good book of Proverbs 11.25 says, a generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Your time, energy, knowledge, and dollars can all contribute toward you being a generous person. Help others to have a more equitable life because what goes around comes around if you fill your life with the right ingredients. Continue learning, work hard, explore new ideas, don't give up, and above all, enjoy your family and friends. Congratulations to the graduates and the honorees, to everyone involved in the 2021 Honorary Awards and the second annual UBC virtual ceremonies. Thank you. On behalf of my wife, Irene, my children and I, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. May God bless you on your life's journey. If I had a message for the UBC graduates today, I would think of nothing is certain. Whatever you think at one point in time may not be right. And even if it's wrong, it doesn't work out well, think about it again and do it again because it may open up new doors for you. Don't give up.